Howdy Pilgrim, Sam from the Markov Dossier here, and I'm going to unbox something. Well, as you see, I'm not hiding it this time, it's a Red Oak Post Office. Thought I'd do this because we don't get to see many of these unwrapped and see what they actually look like. We see them on the tables and lots of photos of them in tow, but I thought it'd be nice to actually unwrap one on screen and see what you see what you get. I'd like to thank my plan. I'd like to start having a bit again. I'd like to thank Michael Anderson for sending me this. Um, Michael's a Wild West Exodus player over in California. He'd seen something on eBay he wanted. Unfortunately for him, it was a UK seller and they weren't willing to post all the way to California. So he reached out and said, would I be willing to post it on for him? And I said, yeah, no problem at all. And as a thank you, he's got me this from War Cradle. And I'm very, very grateful. Scott and I have often said how much we love the Scenics, but we've also said we've not got any because of room issues. But this is actually one of the smaller ones. So I probably have got room for this and I'm just stoked to have it. It will make a great addition to our tables and I can't wait to get it built. So Mike, thank you very much for getting me that. I really appreciate that as a, as a thank you. You didn't have to do that. I was more than happy just to send those skin shifters on to you. Hope you enjoy those when you get those, by the way. Uh, so let's get it open and see what it looks like. Got my knife. Let's open it up. So very carefully, you don't want to scratch any of the uh, MDF. Let's pull off the wrapper. There we go. Okay. So we've got the front cover sheet, which shows you what it looks like. As you can see, it's the post office. Uh, might have thought this was appropriate as I was sent up sending him stuff for the post office. Interesting, I found out from looking at instructions, you can swap the sign round so it says doctors as well, which I don't know, I might do that as well because that kind of fits the narrative. And then let's have a look. Here's the, oh, got some pieces popping out already. Let's hold that up to the, right there, look at the detail on this. Oh, it's really nice textured, you can feel the lines. And there's a, uh, light sand light light texture to it um not quite sandy paper sandpaper but there's a lovely texture to that the deep really nicely detailed the rib, you can see the rivets and the iron pieces on here in these corners at the top here and so on just just the light of it that feels nice so look at the back colored on the back as well in the red you've got the and even though we're not going to see this too often, these dark patches do add some character to it. We've got a lovely punch out, so you see the windows just here, we've got punched out frames. That door, yep, you can see that's coming out, so I could have that, there it goes, uh, have that open and shut, and so on, so that's the first one. Another one here, I think these must be the side panels. Yep, there's the door. Bit of grading there, a bit of fence panelling there with a plank missing. And there's your two sides. Oh, these have got lovely, these are raised texture. Oh, you can't see this, but that is actually etched out and raised. So I've got post office and I've got doctors as well. Really nice they are. There's the door pieces. And what the last more structural bits coming up. We have to be very careful, we don't want to snap any of these. I can see some bits coming off as well. Don't want to snap anything that's not ready to come out just yet. They can I have heard that can be something that can happen if you're not careful. So I need to be very careful with these and make sure these all punch out properly. Finally. So in, in the blue, you can see a ladder there and various panels and so on. But it is lovely detail, and I can't wait to get this built and see what it all looks like. I'm going to have to get some PVA glue before I can do that. So I'm going to pop down the shop tomorrow and get some uh, lovely PVA glue, and maybe a, maybe I can work out how to clamp it together as well. Get a clamp. But that's that, and I think that's lovely. So the next video will be me 
building it, I want to film the whole building process if I can. Uh, so you can see how it goes to, how well it goes together, which um, yeah, exercise in me not swearing on camera, I think. Uh, probably. You no know, my frustrations with my clumsiness. Uh, or I might just film so I might do that as a separate video and then we'll have the finished finished article as well. A nice video for that so I'm just looking around it. And that's all for now. Welcome back pilgrims, Sam for the Markov dossier here, and I'm gonna assemble my uh, Red Oak post office. Now yeah, I'm not going to obviously make you watch the entire assembly process with watching glue dry, just the major steps as I do it, and then obviously while the glue is drying, I'll cut away. But what I've got, got the instructions printed from the net. The parts themselves, as I showed in the unboxing, as you can see, the doors already fell out. Scalpel, so that I can uh, cut, the, cut the pieces out very carefully, because you do need to, you don't just punch these out, you do need to cut them out. Wood glue, and you see I've bought Gorilla Glue, other brands are available of course. Um, I went for wood glue because it will give the strongest bond. You can use super glue, which will bond a lot quicker obviously, but it's nowhere near as strong as the glue, it's quite fragile and if you bend it, it will break. And because wood glue takes quite a while to bond, this one takes at least 20 minutes. I also got this from my local DIY store, this is called a 90 degree clamp or a corner clamp and this as you can see I'll put my building parts in there and that will hold us a nice 90 degree angle while I'm doing it. This was literally from a local DIY store cost me four quid so can't complain at that hopefully that will do the job. So that's what I'm going to do as I said I'm not going to let you watch the glue dry just cut assemble as we go. I don't think anyone's actually done that full assembly on video before of the Red Oak set, so this would be a good, a good experiment. Let's see how this goes. Okay, so the first step is I've got to glue the shelves under the window ledges, two times A5 under the window ledges, here's what it says here. So for that, I'm going to need this part here, which is A12, the front of the building. I'm also going to need on the grey screw, on the grey frame, these parts here, which together will form that ledge under the window. So I'm going to get those out first. Attach these very carefully. One, two. Bits. What I need to do is clean them up a bit. Let's try to zoom in so you can see what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing, this. There we go. So these are the bits I've took off. As you can see, there's a bit of rough there. I just need to tidy that up. So I'll zoom back out so you can see what I'm doing. General. There we go. So that's the four main little bits. Four main little bits, I suppose. So now I need the big front part. 
electric frontage, as you can see, it's already starting to pop out. I'm going to carefully just give it a hand. This time use the blade the right way. There's the catch. Let's get that back. It's just being held on at two points. So cut that there. the front there you go so his window frames the window ledges are gonna go under there I think so I think at this point it might be a good idea to refer to the cover photo just to have a look how that looks there I can just see just see how that looks on the cover photo I see. So it looks like looking at that photo is that you put two on top of each other like that. And this tab bit there goes in the hole there. Let's try a dry fit. Good time. So, uh, pull the nozzle up, give the bottle a shake first, sir. Pull the nozzle up, and first of all, we'll glue them together like that, and then I'll glue them into the thing. So, I'm only going to need a really thin smear of this stuff. There we go. Okay, so that'll do spreader. I knew it, I knew that one. I don't know about you, when we small kids, you should have craft stuff in your hands. And I'll just use this damp cloth just to wipe off that excess glue. Not too much. There we go, so that's the first one on. Let's do the same with the other, but this time I'm going to use the applicator. Just a bit too much
There you go. Well, that wasn't too hard, was it? Step one. Well, half of step one. Only uh, nine more steps to go. Right then. So the next part of step one, it says insert C6 and A13, making sure the notch at the bottom of A3, or A3, not A13, A3 faces towards you. Right then. So C6 and A3, door frame parts. Make sure the notch at the bottom of A3 faces towards you. And push C6 far left as possible. Okay, so let's find those parts while that's right. C6 and A3. So it says C6 first, then A3, making sure the notch at the bottom of A3 faces towards you. I'm guessing they mean, as you can see, it's got a post and a notch. Let's focus on that a bit better. There's a notch there, a post there. So that's the bit that's got to face towards me. So it says C6 first, then A3. So that's... C6. And again, there's a way around for this to go because there's a hole there and a square post there. Make sure notch at the bottom of A3, push C6 as far left as possible. Let's have a look. where the door post goes so that the door can open. So I want to put it on that side, I think. So again, I'm try it. Do it that way, it's just left hanging loose here. Now there is going to be another one go there, but that one is going to go there. Well, let's think about this. So I put that there. Sort of, kind of works, but not really. There's too much of a gap there. Put that there, and I have got a 
post. Bowl for the door, so this is correct. Okay. So, square notch this side, notch with the extra hole in this side, so that the door post there, when I cut this door off the frame, will go inside. Okay, so the door frame's on, and as you can see, I've got a hole there for the door post to go into. Right, C7 and A15. Well, that's A15, so I just need to get that off the door frame, and then I need to find C7. Okay, so that's how long that's going to take me to find. just really nicely so I'm going to put a little dab of glue on just to secure that bottom bit there get that it's, that's actually holding in with its own friction that's the front door that's holding in with its own friction I might just put a bit of dab of glue on it in a bit yeah, it's done quite well so that's step one done and I've got to do the same to the back door on the other wall. Let's get move on. Put that to one side. Get the back wall. Post into there and then slide everything together, which is a bit easier said than done. We just do our best. There we go. And that's the back door, and it opens. Nice. So I'm going to let that dry. And then we'll come back to the next part, so let's just let those dry for a minute. Okay, so doors are all glued on, nice and dry. Open up nicely. There we go. So that's the front and back door. Next stage is to do the roof. 
Now, it took me a while to find the parts, but I have got them. And I had to double, double check which way around these parts go on the thing. The instructions say to put the printed side, that side, on the inside. The images I've seen of it put the printed side on the outside. So I asked on the I asked on the council and the Discord what both people do, and most people said they put it on the outside. And I got the answer that it was on the outside. So that's the way I'm going to do it. Now, interestingly, it's not dead straight. There's actually a raise. Sorry, uh, it raises up towards one end. So I'm going to make sure I get this the right way round. Let's have a look at the instructions. So, I need to make sure we've got the panel turned the right way around. Look at the instructions. That's this way on the instructions. This board here is going to go there again with the, as I said, the printed side outwards. Where's that going to go? Actually, no, because that's going to go back on to the. That is going to back on to the back of that, so I'll print the side inwards. And that. So it does that, I think. I think. So the instructions, see if that's any clearer. Yeah, I think printed side in on that part. So I want it that way around. Yeah, that way around with the printed side in. These, I'm going to put the printed side out. So I need to make sure that the right way around. Okay, let's commit. And this is where it's going to tricky to hold together. So I'm not going to glue one part at a time and wait quite a bit. together and I'm going to leave that to dry before I put on the next parts. Okay so the next phase is to attach these panels to here to give it a nice edge so I will dry fit them to make sure I've got the right way around. Okay.
So, gently lift that up. Don't you dare break. It's the roof section. Last thing I've got to do is there are actually some sections here that glue on these bits. Give it some tech, give it some uh, three di three dimensionalness. I'm gonna let that dry, and I am gonna put those on another day because it's kind of late now, and I think I'm gonna call it a night for this section. So this is Sam Burridge for the Markov dossier, saying Happy Trails, Pilgrims, and we'll see you in the next part. <laughs>